It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Carolina Panthers and the Detroit Lions. And it's coming up next. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, two NFC clubs going head-to-head -head as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Detroit Lions. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, these Detroit Lions... They won over a lot of people with the way they played under Dan Campbell last year. They started one and six, found their stride, won eight of their last 10 games and nearly got into the playoffs. And when you think back to how they almost got in that final Sunday night, going to Lambeau Field and beating the Packers, that tells you about the culture that's already been established there. All you need now is to watch this team continue to play. They're going to contend, I believe, in this season. Meanwhile, optimism reigning with the visiting Panthers. They've got a new coach, they've got a new quarterback, and they've got a real chance to be a playoff team in 2023. And a lot of it starts on the defensive side of the ball where they've been good for the last few seasons. If the offense joins them, they will be a tough out in the NFC South. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. A man who joined the Panthers from the NFC champs, it's Miles Sanders. And he'll get it up to the 33 yard line. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They go play action. Young. He'll fire this complete to Hurst down the field. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. On first and 10, it's Sanders, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Now Young. And that is incomplete. They only needed a few inches there on second, but forget the halfback dive. They were going for the big one. I thought it was a good time to take a shot. You figure they're running game. If they don't get it there, you come back and run for it and pick up the first down. Go ahead and be aggressive. Try and get one downfield for a big one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And that's the way you get an opening drive going. Pick up the first down, convert on third down, and how about doing it old-school style, doing it with a run and play. Right back to Sanders on first down. Shifts by him, and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down.
Now second and five. Throw left side on target to Thielen. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Young on third down. is going to be incomplete. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. So coming on the road, they had the ball first, and even though they didn't get the touchdown, they do get the early lead here. And even though it wasn't a touchdown, that field goal certainly quieted the crowd just a little bit. So you take that, move forward, and feel good about the outlook for the rest of the game. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. Rumors of Goff's demise? Greatly exaggerated, it seems. Boy, what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdown. It led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership, the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. Goff and this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Play action. It's Goff. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Off play action. Here's Golf. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. thrown quickly out to Jones. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And they'll come up second and seven. Out of the gun. Gone. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Goff. That is caught. He's got the first down and more. And down to the 16-yard line. 
That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Goff now looking to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards, now it's third and five. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Here's Goff. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Boy, that one was well-read defensively, and this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. On fourth down, Goff to the sidelines, and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Patterson's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Holding offense. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Second down, Young. Short throw underneath to Hurst. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And they're going to face a third down. So the completion there, man. Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get out of his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner. That quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. 
give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. That's taken on the 25. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. I think they tried to fool him on that one. You know, being able to throw the ball to the fullback position, no one was fooled on that play. No, lost yardage. You think they should yank that one from the playbook, at least uh, for the time being? <laughs> I, think, I think what you do is you take it out and you evaluate it next week in practice. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. From the gun on third down, gone. And not enough on the throw that time, as that one is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. Young now. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. It's a second down run with Sanders. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Two yards still to go, third down now. Young to throw it. absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. It's taken to the 26. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And they will take over first and 10. And Detroit getting set to go now. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Here's Gaw. And that's to Alvin Ross St. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards.
Goff on first down. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Wright's got it. The ball comes out, but fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. To the air again, Goff. There's Laporta, he's got it, the tight end. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Sam Laporta, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Lions have taken the lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so, because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is now 10 to three. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The play fake, now Young. That is taken in by Hurst. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Tim, three, our score after one here on EA Sports. Panther football to start quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine. To 
to throw Young. And that's going to be incomplete. and four tries. This is third and nine. Throwing Young. And that is incomplete. I like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate just fell incomplete. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. And Detroit back in possession of the football. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. From the 20, here's second and three. Now gone. Little short pass here taken in by LaPorta. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Pushing his way inside the 40, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. That O-line just dominated the D-line there. Let's go with a verbal telestrator here because that D-line has a nose over the center and it has the two defensive ends over the offensive tackles. That means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them. That creates a natural bubble inside where they sprint upfield, take on the inside linebackers. And if the back hits it fast enough, there should be space to run. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. To throw is gone. Man open here is Jones. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 38-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, golf. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. A shotgun snap for Gaul. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Gaul. That is caught. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, 
just come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On first down, it's gone. The quick slant caught. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. After a play like that, there should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery taking it in for two yards. And the Lions go up by two touchdowns. And just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Extra point by Patterson. Up and good. And the lead is now 17-3. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Blackshear now on the return. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. to the 40 at the 39. Holding offense. And that flag accepted. Young. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, their first two drives only yielded three points. They might be thinking it's time to make something happen. Push the ball downfield and try and gain some points that way. Unfortunately, incomplete. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he'll be taken down at the 18. 48 yards rushing for him now to this point. The Panthers on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and seven. 
It's Young off play action. And too much juice. He'll be out of bounds incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Here's Johnny Hacker now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And take it right at the 35. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Now golf on first down. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. On second down, Montgomery. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Montgomery with a good game there, and he broke 800 yards for the Bears' NFL best ground game last season. Divisional rival Detroit took notice and brought him in to boost their growing offense. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Ball on the 27. Here's second and three. Goff now looks to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. That'll put him in an even 50 receiving yards now in this first half. And it's a first down. They'll fake the give. Now golf. And that's hauled in by St. Brown. Play. He just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Carolina getting set to take the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm OK with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. 
Now first down carried by Sanders. Well defensed as they'll hold him to just a couple. Second down coming up. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. This is second and eight. Another run with Sanders. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He lost four there, and it's third down. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. It'll be a gain of two. And speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And it's fielded at the 34. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. We get a look at Amon Ross St. Brown as his offense readies for the next drive. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Goff's throw here into the hands of Jones. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Again, golf. Open man right side is St. Brown. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Goff. Now he's got it. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Montgomery. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. From the gun, here's Goff. And in for the Lions, touchdown! Jared Goff with his 
his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions continue to pull away here this first half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Patterson now for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Second and five. Now Young. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Final play of the half, Young. And that one too wide and incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the veteran quarterback, Jared Goff, who had command of the offense. He connected on three touchdown passes in those first two quarters as his guys have built up a sizable lead here at the break. in the lead and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for him. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. On first and 10, Goff. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll make it second down. Mistake for him in the ball game 
Bills. It's intercepted. Picked up by Von Bell. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Following the interception, Young. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Or maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I wonder if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have now looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Brian Branch from the secondary in on the tackle. Here's a second and five. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Here's Young. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Lions are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Those INTs all sting. When you throw one in the red zone, I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now. Those are precious, so you have to learn from those and in a hurry. So here come the Lions now. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. 60 yards on the ground for him so far. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32. A play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions have taken a five-touchdown lead. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Extra point try now for Patterson.
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Jack Campbell running him down behind the line. He was able to escape momentarily in the backfield, but you could just kind of tell that wasn't going anywhere. You know, in the film session, he'll get a minus for not getting him on the ground by himself. But what the coach is really going to analyze, how fast did his teammates get there to help him? If one guy slows him up, everyone else better be there. And that's what they got on that play. It'll be a gain of five. And now third down and six to go. Now Young, work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. A quick throw complete to Chark. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and four at the 37-yard line. It'll be young again. And that'll be incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last try instead of throwing the interception. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Young. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. That stop made by Jack Campbell. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Young throwing complete there to Mingo. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 36. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center that knows, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Second down, back to Sanders. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Another run here with Sanders. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Looking to throw, Young. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. So the completion good for six yards, and it brings up third and five now. Throwing, Young. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chipping. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the white. and just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's come together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. A great move by Montgomery. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. A shotgun snap for Gong. A slant to Jones. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Goff on first down. He'll find Jones again, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 48-yard line, here's second and two. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. 
But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 159 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. I'd sure love to offer some advice to the defensive coordinator, but his guys are just getting run over by an offense that's executing like a well-oiled machine. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and 10. They'll try the air now with Goff. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Tell you what, Carter, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, you don't often see a lot of first down carries by a fullback, and this is probably why. Often better suited for short yards and goal line types of situations, this last carry went for a loss. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. David Montgomery, a three-yard touchdown run continue to run up the score they lead it big here in the fourth they seemingly just continue to score at will and <laughs> as great as it's been for the offense you got to feel for that defense down there I love how you use the word will because both teams came into the game with the will to win but one team has obviously imposed its will on the other and broken them because what we're seeing right now Wow, that's a defense that's in tatters after what they faced in this ballgame. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Young's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call <laughs> it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. That throw by Young incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause.
Tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Young to throw it. That is caught. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. And he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. It's Young on first down. And quickly to Thielen here. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. To throw, Young. Open man right side is Shark. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 38-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Young will set to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. It's Young off play action. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they wind up getting four there on fourth and one. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. On first and 10, Young over the middle, hauled in by Shark. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second and five. Again, it's Young. From the left side, caught by the tight end, Hurst. Just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Now here's Young. It just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. It's a second down run with Sanders. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Well, you have to be aware defensively that you've got two goals because obviously you're trying to prevent the touchdown, but you're also trying to keep it from getting a first down as well. That time they weren't up to the task, and it's first and goal. Sanders, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, I know defensive coordinator is going to be pretty excited about what he just saw there. Great knockback by their front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. Sanders again. And he's not going too far. In fact, stopped dead in his tracks at the three. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So here we go on a third and goal. This Lions defense, they haven't broken yet. Young now. Buying time. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Bryce Young, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Defensively, didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe we're seeing some pretty good instincts for a young guy? Because that's the thing you worry about. Coming out of college, you're used to getting away with just about anything you want to do. You're just superior. Here, he has to read it, figure it out, and know when it's time to go. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. David Montgomery and the Lions about set to begin this next series. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now to Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Nine yards is the pick up there. They'll have a second and one. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Blitz coming and down he goes. Kamu Kruje Hill getting in there and taking him down. He has some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Here's the 12th overall pick in April's draft, Jameer Gibbs. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further. 
as they get him down well short of the line to gain. Two yards on the pick up there, it's fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five yard line. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five yard line, absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Young looks to throw on first down. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask. And that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. Here's Young. And his throw is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. He'll look to throw. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Young, he's got his big tight end, that's Hurst. And he is gonna have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now a first down throw for Young. Oh, and that is incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They'll throw again. Young. And that's going to be incomplete. second down it muddles things a little bit here this is third and ten out of the gun it's young he's gonna let it fly it's caught inside the 25 a big play there for carolina and even 40 yards at this stage there's nothing left to do but to keep firing and if you're a play caller you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game Maybe that was one of them there that worked. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Meanwhile, Young's throw here on target to Hurst. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Ball at the 14 for second and five. It'll be Young again. His throw incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Young. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will knock this down to still a very large 29-point deficit. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Amon Ross St. Brown and the rest of the Detroit Lions getting set for another series here. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.